Hi, everybody, and welcome to Judgment Begins in the House. This is Maverine, and I thought it a, a good thing, and a necessary thing that I share a quick uh, synopsis of why this channel, this ministry exists, because there's so many. I am called to speak what the Lord says speak, write what the Lord says write, to, and I'm quoting the Lord, to the Ecclesia, wherever I send you. So that's to the entire body of Christ, wherever he sends me. If you all have looked at some of the earlier messages on this channel that started just over two years ago, you will see how incredibly uncomfortable I was. Not so much so now, but still a bit. Um, this is not my natural inclination, which is a good thing because it makes me that much more dependent upon the Lord before I speak each time. But you'll see where I was then. You'll also see the place where I was on my journey toward healing and restoration and coming to a place where I wasn't all fight, but I was abounding even the more in love, the love of Christ. Now there's more. Um, I know that I'm not there, but you'll see that journey. You'll also, I, I believe, see from those earlier videos um, about two years ago through until today, whenever you see this, that um, there's a maturation in my understanding about how the Lord speaks, and there is a, um, I think, a, I guess the, the way that I can say it, I am not as wounded as I was in the beginning because I was obeying the Lord where I was at the time, trusting him with each step, no matter how uncomfortable that step was. There was a period of about a year that I didn't release anything on this channel. And I will say to you that I was out of order. I was not obeying the Lord and I felt and experienced the consequences of that. And so I am sharing this because I have sometimes heard in my church life the idea that we have to present ourselves when the Lord is asking us to speak or to teach or to operate in our gifting, that we have to present ourselves as already there, as fully there, fully matured. And I'm sharing this and asking you all to look at this journey as a testimony for you. That is not the case. Religion would say that we have to be fully there and present ourselves as whole and healed and mature before we obey the Lord. God says, obey me, trust me in all things, because it's through those processes, even or especially the uncomfortable ones, that we start to receive our healing and deliverance. I've heard sometimes people say, maybe um, you shouldn't sound so hurt or wounded when you speak. But to cover that up and pretend is to be hypocritical and to pretend to be something that we not, it's, we're not. It's religion. It's um, being whitewashed tombs, appearing clean on the outside, but being dead on the inside. And so as you listen to this channel, as you go back to listen to any of the earlier messages, I hope that it encourages you. Wherever you are in your journey, the Lord is saying to all of us, as he always has, but we have to recognize that there are Kairos and Kronos moments. The Lord is saying to all of us that there's an accelerated need for us to step into the gifts and callings that he's given us. We will certainly make mistakes. We will certainly make mistakes because there's no one perfect. But God is faithful, and if you stay in the word, if you keep your heart pure so that your desire is to please him, not to earn money, 
not to be made famous, not to um, have more followers than the next person or next ministry. God is faithful to continually heal, redeem, and prosper you in all things, even as our soul prospers. Things that are even more important than wealth in this earth, finances in this earth. So that's why this channel exists. One, because the Lord has instructed me to speak to the Ecclesia in all the places he sends me. He actually said, wherever I send you, because I kept wanting him to give me one place, one direction, one focus in the body of Christ because that would look more like what it is I've seen and, and thought. And the Lord is just wanting us all to know that no two are the same. We are not to model what he directs and has called and created us to in his image to do based upon what anyone else does. We are to seek wise counsel. We are to allow the wisdom of righteous elders to speak to us and to correct us, but always filtering it vertically first through the spirit of the living God, through God, rather than horizontally through man. And I want to leave you this example. The woman at the well, her name is Fotini. She encountered Yeshua. She encountered the living word, the living water. She had a life-changing experience with him at that well. She was so excited. It says she ran into the village telling all the people, probably all the men, right? The ones that knew her and knew about her, telling them about the one that she'd encountered, the Messiah. She evangelized, having encountered the Lord and accepted him. And she was still in need of healing and restoration because she still was living in the house with the man who was not her husband at that time about, Yesh about whom Yeshua spoke. She was not all there. She was not all cleaned up. When she started to evangelize and share she was still wearing the garments that she may have worn the night before as she was out and about with a man who was not her husband. So I share that with you all, brothers and sisters in Christ who have silenced your voice, who have hidden your gifts and callings, who have thought yourself to not be ready or worthy, thinking that you needed to be more healed before you began to obey what God has told you to do. Yeshua gave us a perfect example in that woman at the well to say that is not the case. And I am a more modern day example. So I hope my transparency, um, my authenticity through this journey on this channel encourages you all. I hope this gives you some sense for why it may seem that I'm speaking to different parts of the body of Christ and different issues. I hope it certainly helps you understand the journey that the Lord has brought me through from being more fight than love and focusing on the things of the world, government, politics, none of which is unimportant. But the Lord has been saying for me to come up higher and he's been gracious and graceful, teaching me, healing me, guiding me through those journeys until today. And he wants the same for you, wherever your assignment is, wherever you are seated with Christ in heavenly places. So begin today, wherever you are, no matter how small the step no matter what it may appear like, no matter what the lighting may or may not be, no matter what the background may or may not be, God does not care about those things. He cares about and sees the heart. And he has sent me today to say to you to step forward and to release the courage, the anointing of courage to step forward into the call that God has on your life. 
in Yeshua's name, I pray. Receive it, seek him, and move forward. Amen. Thank you for watching. I look forward to how God will weave us together in the days to come. Each piece strengthening the other, making the whole better. God bless you. Amen.